Please put your hands together for Matt Fraction! Uh, I moved around a lot when I was a kid, and so there were classes that I missed because different school systems have different curriculum curricula. And uh, uh, the two most important uh, classes that I missed were driver's ed and sex ed. <laughs> One of those you can pay Sears to teach you about. <laughs> so the first time I ever ejaculated, I had no fucking idea what had just happened. I understood the mechanics of sex. I knew what sex was, I knew what parts were, I knew the thing he goes in the hoo-ha and the, the, and, and the baby Jesus and the stork and all that stuff. I had it all, I knew that. But in, in missing out on things like sex ed, no one had bothered to explain to me that sex is a sentence with an exclamation point at the end of it if you do it right. So... <laughs> So, so basically, I knew what happened, but I didn't really know what it was about, uh, uh, which uh, is kind of my mission as a writer, uh, at least as a, how I define it. I always have to kind of figure out what's gonna happen in this stupid fucking thing and what's it actually about. Um, and sometimes one is really easy and the other isn't, and sometimes it's both there and sometimes I don't fucking know. Um, um, you know, what happens is, is you know, your, 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 your plot, you know, uh, uh, little scenes joined by, you know, the word uh, uh, so or but, right? Uh, <laughs> R2-D2, uh, Princess Leia puts the secret plans in R2-D2, so they escape to the desert planet, but the Empire chases them, so they run off, and, but they get captured by... Yeah. Sorry to explain that to you in Star Wars. So, um, <laughs> right. So, uh, sort of recently, uh, right, superhero comics, or did for an awful long time, um, and then kind of got to a point where I really needed to do stuff uh, for myself, and uh, 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 to avoid getting uh, getting bored, because I'm a I'm a I'm a junkie, uh, I kind of tried to do stuff that wasn't like superheroes, and this this led to uh, a comic book. I wanted to do something funny. I wanted to do something like like deliberately, intentionally. This is a comedy. I wanted to do a sex comedy, which I'd never really seen. In comics, and I and I love it as a genre. Like it's it's my favorite kind of film. It just like like Billy Wilder. You know, it's like the best. I wanted to do like what like I want to do a dirty sex comedy for comics. Uh, uh, and I had a buddy, uh, a friend, my uh, my heterosexual uh, life chum Chip Zdarsky in in Canada, uh, uh, who is a crazier and a shit house rat. We wanted to draw it, and we were we we were we wanted to work together. We were trying to find for years something to do, and and and. Uh, 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 one morning he suggested uh, that we do like his pitch why don't we do a shitty Game of Thrones <laughs> don't, don't go for the easy joke don't go for the easy joke it's just sitting right there so it's a meatball right over home plate uh, and my response was why don't we do a comedy about a guy who stops time when he comes <laughs> sorry mom And he's like, yeah, okay, that's what we're doing. So great. All right. So we st start to I have, I have the what happens. And I figure, oh, you tell me your stories, and I know my stories, and we're just going to kind of tell it's dick jokes. We got it. It's, it's no problem. Come, stop time. Uh, uh, and, and, it's, it, and when time stops, uh, he's going to rob banks, right? Because uh, that's, that's something you do, right? Maybe if you're short on money, like jerk off into a sock and go get a couple of hundos. So, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so I start to write it. Um, and it's, and it's, and it, 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 it kind of it peters out really fast, pardon the pun. Um, <laughs> because it's just dick jokes and kind of cum jokes and lots of cum jokes. Um, and even the, uh, uh, the funny stuff, the true stuff, the real stuff that we're kind of cannibalizing from our lives and putting into it doesn't really carry it through and, and I don't really have the heart to do it and he doesn't have the heart to do it and we don't really have the heart to tell each other that it's not working. And then at some point it occurs to me and I, and I wish I knew why or how or, or, or that I had some kind of great story about when it happened but I decided to flip the genders and I was going to make the main character the girl of the couple. And that opened everything. Suddenly the, the mask of a character, of, of kind of having a fiction, uh, 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 let alone a fictional gender, but just a fictional person, is, uh, fundamentally different, different than I on that level, uh, let me 
right. And I mean really right. And I figured out what it was. And I had it. And, and I saw I could fucking write this for days. Like I just had miles of open road. Um, and we were still able to cannibalize all of our own stories. Like when I lost my virginity, uh, it wasn't in, in my room. It was at a, in a dorm room at a, at a, at a, at a college. Uh, but I was in high school because I was cool. Uh, uh, and um, um, the, the girl's room, who it was, who wasn't the lady I was with, uh, played uh, Morrissey uh, from somewhere. We didn't know where. <laughs> and we couldn't stop it. <laughs> so it just played all night. <laughs> Every day is like Sunday, you motherfucker. <laughs> um, or, uh, uh, you know, we started to tell stories about... I, I told that story about, about the first time I came, having no idea what that was uh, 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 stories about ex, ex-girlfriends ex-boyfriends experiences dating nightmares everything kind of all came out we just started to put everything into this story and we thought alright it's comic books right uh, uh, it's like uh, Avengers and shit and Batman and stuff like, like this is going to last three issues we're, we're going to get three issues we're going to have to pay for the fourth one ourselves and then beg the, the publisher um, to put out a collection. We'll print up like 2,000 and we'll have these funny little books to give to our friends for the rest of our lives and haha, we made a funny dick book. <laughs> but what happens immediately, and Chip saw it, but I didn't for a while, um, the book exploded uh, and became absolutely, don't go for the easy joke. It's, it's <laughs> cheap is fine, just don't be easy. Uh, 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 so the, the book becomes the biggest thing that I've touched in my career. <laughs> That's a good one to go for. Um, and, the, and, and aside from it selling out, which, it, which was weird, um, and it kept selling out and kept selling out, uh, and then Apple banned it, <laughs> which is fucking sweet. <laughs> if you have shit to sell, get Apple to say, we're not gonna sell your shit. Because your shit will sell. <laughs> it, it just became this whole thing. And then, like, suddenly we're in, like, CNN is reporting. It, like, we, like, we were, it, it was a thing. Suddenly people were asking, Do, are you being censored? Is this more censorship? And, and, and they were buying the fucking book. And it was so crazy. Um, and then we started to get letters. And at first, the, the, the guy letters, guys try to be funnier than us. Uh, and fuck you, it's our party. You're not going to be funnier than us. <laughs> the girls are amazing and confessional. And the girls start to share with us, uh, the guys too, but we start to get the most amazing stories about like first time masturbating or, or you know, there was a, uh, there was a girl, who, I guess there was a movie this happened in and, and she described it as just like this movie, but I haven't seen it. So if you hear this anecdote and think, hey, that's like that movie I've seen. Yes, I'm aware it pre-exists. Anyway, she was blowing a guy who was wearing a cock ring and the cock ring got stuck behind her teeth. And she started to choke. And as it occurred to her that somewhere, someone was going to have to tell her mother that she died with a dick in her mouth, <laughs> she started to laugh. <laughs> in conclusion, yours, etc. The most amazing woman alive. Um, we got stories from, oh, there's a guy who's getting his first ever hand job. He's at camp, and uh, he and his uh, lady fair, and she was uh, going to town on his uh, jimmy, and uh, out of the woods came a bear. <laughs> so, you know, uh, 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 hard on uh, uh, pointing towards north and, and shorts down, he goes, he, he runs, he leaves her. <laughs> to get eaten by the bear. Uh, 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 there was there was that young congressional aide who, uh, uh, while blowing his boyfriend, had like a hiccup and stripped skin off. <laughs> and uh, uh, the phrase uh, "I was covered with cock blood" was in this letter. <laughs> and then he had to like clean up, and they had to like acknowledge each other. Like this is the thing that happened. I just pulled skin off your cock, as though it were a carrot. I'm now gonna go work on Capitol Hill for a congressman. <laughs> Uh, there, was a, there, was a, there was a kid who, uh, for the first time he ever jerked off, jerked off into a sock. Uh, and then his mom immediately called him for dinner, and not sure what to do, he, uh, he pulled his pants up and just went downstairs with the sock still on. <laughs> and sat there eating dinner, feeling his semen kind of encrusting and hardening around this sock. So great. <laughs> so much better than the letters you get when you write Iron Man. So much better. <laughs> 
So then we get a letter from a guy who's like a like a like a like a big guy, an obese gentleman, and his girlfriend is also obese, and he isn't sure how they can have sex. And he wants advice. Like he loves her and she loves him and they're super into each other, but it's they're both big and they can't figure out if this is a line they want to cross because it's embarrassing and it's all this stuff. And then we get a letter from the guy with uh, OCD and ADHD who had been on drugs his whole life and then went off and suddenly discovered he could get erections and is now 19 and fucking everything in sight. <laughs> we, um, <laughs> we, we, we started to get letters from, from sex workers, from, from gay and lesbians and straight and people who didn't know where the fuck they are, the, the masturbators, people who come to masturbation very late in life, a, a, woman who can't, a woman who can't masturbate because she can't not understand that it's her touching herself. So she had to go find different things that could get her, but uh, one of the characters uses a bath spout and that was like, that was me, that was how I, like, but I'm gonna write this in a letter and I'm gonna put it in a thing and I'm gonna send it in the mail and you're gonna read it and then I'm gonna put it in my fucking comic. We, uh, we, uh, one of the issues, we made up a bunch of sex positions, uh, one of which was called brimping, uh, uh, which is when, uh, when a fella, uh, uh, well, the lady who has long hair and, or, and a guy pulls the hair up, uh, fucks her hair. That's called brimping. <laughs> People now brimp and take pictures of themselves doing it. <laughs> My uh, fucking holiday card situation this season is tight. <laughs> So, we kind of, in embarrassing ourselves and just telling, ourselves, telling every bit of dirt we possibly could and shamelessly strip mining our friends for stories and just, you know, everything we knew and, and writing this story about this girl and this guy who were kind of falling in like with each other and fucking and coming and stopping time and robbing banks. Um, but it's to save a library. You'll read it. It's up there. Um, um, this community of people were suddenly writing to us saying like, oh my fucking God, I'm not alone. I didn't know how to come until I was 28 years old. I didn't know you know, this, I didn't know that. I, didn't, I thought you did this. Uh, oh shit, I forgot there's a kid who went to Israel and he thought the desert was so beautiful he made a hole in the ground and fucked it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I promised myself I was gonna tell that story. <laughs> um, so, so uh, right, the brimpers. The brimpers are reaching out to us, and it's suddenly this, this, this culture has sprung up. Uh, these people telling us these things, and we're sharing stories with each other that are awkward, embarrassing, and terrifying, and painful, and funny. And I finally realized what my book is about, is that we're all alone together. Thanks. Thanks.